Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. What's up, guys? Um, let's get some people in this live stream. Uh, and, uh, let's talk. August 6. August 6. Turkey, Istanbul. Turkey, Istanbul. East versus West 4. Ryan Bowen versus yours truly. What's my name? What's my name? I'm confused, you know. The Cat Whisperer. Yes. I whispered to cats and pussies all over the world. <laughs> What's my name? Good evening, guys. Good morning, wherever you are. It's evening here in Latvia. It's 11.30 p.m. Um, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> Ryan made a video called Trey. So, I was like, let's do a video called Ryan Bowen. And, uh, how about we not talk about Ryan at all? You know? Um yeah so what is today is 11 so 25 days 25 26 days away um i'm i'm really i'm really looking forward to this today was uh like yesterday i had a great training practice uh i went to another town uh with christophs uh Chris blumens uh, our world junior and youth european world junior european junior champion it's in uh, practice with him i think he's the best uh hook puller we have in latvia him and his uh, father it's like just ridiculous especially in a practice in the in a practice setting where you kind of slow things down and it's just ridiculous amount of work you can get with them and i really needed to pull with them just to get some some fine tuning so some of those videos are coming out uh very very soon i guess tomorrow um yeah it's been it's been um it's been great and i'll still have like 25 days so um everything's going by the plan uh training's been really really good uh but yeah today i feel my arms are really sore like super sore i did my practice i did my practice yesterday and then i did my training and then one guy really good guy he's a really awesome guy ludwig's uh he's uh he came to practice he's like and no one was pulling with him because he's really ridiculously strong. So I just pulled with him for half an hour. Now I feel it. <laughs> now I feel I shouldn't have done that. But um, yeah, the training's been just really good. Um, whatever goes down, whatever happens at the end, but uh, I feel like uh, the volume, the work, and everything I've been doing just will come together. And uh, it, it doesn't matter. Like I'm, I'm already like this is my year. I never been this this strong, this great, good of an arm wrestler ever. Um, yeah, it's it's been it's been different. As soon as you put your yourself in perspective, because I thought I was training hard, clearly I wasn't. I think I was doing a lot. Clearly I wasn't. When when I stopped, you know, when I I, I didn't stop. I'm still focusing on my guys and everyone I coach. But uh, as soon as I just reflected on what i'm doing myself getting you know rid of every, every every kind of problem i have and this year has just been crazy amazing i did i think five competitions i had podium all the time um won every super match i have had i think i can't even remember everything you know but uh it's uh it's, it's been it's been awesome so um what whatever you, you know i have to thank ryan you know like um you put ryan bowen you don't want to lose to ryan bowen so i put in so much work and uh like the same thing i'd said for like uh before this for the hogland was who made this guy you know as soon as we put on that i i, I that match was set and everything was like i was a different guy and 
it's different guy now. So I'm very happy. Like today is the first day in a long time where I feel my arms, really. And I, I finished my training. Um, today was side pressure. Tomorrow is back pressure. Uh, so tomorrow might be the first day in all this time uh, where when I uh, have to come down on intensity but increase on volume just because I feel like, you know, my arms, I'm going to feel them tomorrow. So after the training uh, today, I did sauna, uh, like like really good sauna session. Sauna, we had a cold plunge, so I sit in sauna till pretty like 20, 25 minutes then jump into the cold plunge, sit until like I'm starting to get freezing, get out. And now I feel like my body is just like, you know, relax. So maybe tomorrow morning I'll be really good and feel great. But maybe tomorrow will be the first training session that is kind of done. But uh, all in all, um, I feel like I said, like then Engin asked me, like, I feel I feel confident. Like I feel like every time I get on table pool with someone, it doesn't matter what kind of like what kind of volume I have done, what kind of work I have done. I'm like, I'm better, you know, I'm better, I'm getting better. Like sometimes I like I I intentionally do like really crazy sessions, like crazy something that would usually make me be weaker. And then I get on table. Like on su- Sunday we did like I did my practice for about two and a half hours, two hours, something like that, with Christoph's father and everyone who was there. And uh, before that, like day before, I did my side pressure training for three hours. You know, so uh, side pressure and the hand. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm really, I feel damn confident in that match. I feel really confident. Uh, I feel like uh, State Kings made a mistake, which kind of doesn't work in my favor anymore because no one's betting on Ryan at this point. So I have a shutout stake. So that means if Ryan... All I need to do is win one round. And I have intention of winning all the rounds. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm doing, I, I, I'm doing cardio and I'm eating, eating pretty good. Like, like I said before, I stay away from gluten. Uh, I eat a lot of meats, uh, you know, uh, I was in Saturday and Sunday evening. I went to movies. Uh, I ate a lot of popcorn. Like I woke up like on Sunday, I was 92 kilo. I'm like, oh, getting big. To woke up today, 90. <laughs> so I'm 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 on that weight. Um, try to eat, not eat much, but just eat consistently and train. Like uh, like I haven't done much benching, and now I'm benching like like because I said like benching just makes me feel like um. I'm strong, you know, feeling of being strong. Plus, I love it. So I'm doing a lot of benching. And, uh, like, I feel my shoulders, my chest, everything has gotten bigger. So it's like, I'm like, where did I gain two kilos? And, you know, it's not not on these arms. These arms are, like, tiny compared to Ryan's. But um, most likely, you know, the legs, chest, everything. is. So I'm pretty dead set at, like, I'm 90 kilos. Not shredded. Sorry about that. But, you know. Um, um yeah it's uh it, it i feel good like look at me i'm I'm like happy just look at ryan in any of his videos he looks like he's just gonna pass out really soon uh he's he like i i don't think he, he you know he will be he feels so bad when he comes down to 90 kilos it's like ridiculous everyone's like well he's he's not that big but also come, coming down to 92 from from 90 whatever he was to 90 will not they be that easy i feel like it's it's going to take his toll on him uh yesterday he 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 was watching my video with artem and then comparing with his video of artem and i was like dude you had like twice as long matches with him and i was i was you know I was trying to make a show. <laughs> you you sure wasn't. You sure could get out straight away. You have to, you know, wait him out a little bit because Artem dies off. But, you know, he's like, what are you talking about? Plus, the jet lag, man. The jet lag. I live on this continent. Turkey and me, the same time zone. You're going to come in. And it's like when when we have to arm ourselves, it's like 5, 4 a.m. in the morning for you. So, most likely, he will hit with the jet lag as well. So, I don't see – I like – 
there's so many things that are against him. Just looking at like, um, I feel like Ryan's like, he doesn't look that good. I love that he's running. He should be taking care of himself. Uh, he should be working out. Like um, whatever someone says, like I'm a professional, I'm, you should be training. You should be in the gym every day or, you know, or four, three, five times, not three, not three, five times a week. You should be there. You should be taking care of your body. You should be, you know, doing all those things. So um, him starting that he started running, you know, just uh, it's, of course, it's weight management as well for me, but I feel just better. I just feel better. I do cardio like now every training session, either it's a hit session on air bike or I'll go out and run for 20 minutes. Uh, that's kind of my thing that I do. And I, I feel great. Like I really feel great. So it's all about, it's all about high volume workouts and it's all about recovery, you know? So that's, those are the only things that are on my mind. Nothing else kind of matters. Try to sleep good and sleep has been good. Um, yeah, I saw one super chat. I want to thank you for super chat. I'm going to go and buy me some ice cream because I want some ice cream. And Bowen, are you in Austria with Giannis this weekend? Uh, no, Giannis is doing like a road trip with his family. So he's traveling around doing some seminars as well. Uh, no, Giannis is, uh, we call him off the grid right now. Um, yeah. So... I'm looking slim. Yes, I lost my double chin. See this? See? It's almost gone. When I don't eat bread, it's... Yeah, so I feel really, really good. Um, I want to thank everyone for support. You're going to... Like, th this is... The, I, I think... With all due respect to everyone else, this is the main event. You know, for Armisen community side. And, you know, <laughs> this is the main event. This is this is Ryan Bowen versus the world. You know, Uh yeah, I feel like that. I feel like I, I have a lot of pressure on me, and uh, so like I'm 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 not taking I'm not taking any kind of risks. No chips in my armors. Nothing. You know, just preparing, being as good as I can, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure I will perform. You know, well, I'm I'm pretty 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 damn sure. Um, yeah. You need to work that connective tissue. I guarantee my connective tissue is better than his connective tissue. <laughs> I, um, like, um, I forgot, but maybe, maybe I will do his, whatever he did, that lift, what he calls, you know, uh, with a better form, like I always do with everything, with a better form, uh, with, with, with uh, whatever, just staying tight and close. And I'll do that if I have time and I feel like I can do it. So, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's hard. Like, uh, you know, I would love, like, you know, my, my, I would love to pull John Berzang, but this is better. This is the real goat. You know, we all know that there's only one real goat. His name is Ryan Bowen in 10 years time. He will be the overall world champ. If I can beat him before that, imagine how my stock rises. My, I'm just like going to be legendary. Everyone's going to talk about like, you know, this guy that's number one. Everyone like, yeah, we know that guy. He's like, Ray beat him. Oh, but not anymore because, you know, he's too strong. <laughs> um, yeah. If, if it's like John, Will, William, John would toy with you. Yes, of course. And that was a joke. You know, people think like it's uh, like uh, you have to be, you know, pretty special to call out some, you know, there's in arm wrestling, there are not levels, levels like people think like pro and elite. No, there's like 20, 200 levels between pros and 200 levels between elite guys. So, um, you know, yeah. <laughs> Ryan Bowen is so genetically gifted. It's a favorite. Like I was like. I don't believe that video where he shows his left arm, he walks in and then right arm. I feel like there's something was done with that video. I, I Do you guys believe that was one video? Because it looks ridiculous. It doesn't look real. And when he showed his forearms yesterday, they look, you know, the right was bigger, but eh, you know, eh, yeah, yeah. 
I know William. It's just people just like I read some of those comments. The, the the comments that I love now from the same people, from same people that were saying like, well, we only won Devon because he was bigger. Now they just like, well, you know, ah, it doesn't matter. That it doesn't it, it that doesn't matter to John and Cody. Co Corey, Corey, Corey is not that strong. I'm like, haha. Yeah, sure. You know. Filters and Photoshop. Mm. 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 Uh, Ray don't lose. I don't lose. Yeah, I should. I, I, I should Photoshop like my, my, my arms bigger like Ryan does in, in all of his videos or anything or his, like, uh, like he had flames on his forearm. That was awesome. Yeah, he's like really good at working those angles and shadows and everything else. So those are nice. Um, I'm very jealous of that angle. One year just showed up. The ghost video from one year just showed up. Yeah, I put it on community tab. I made two videos. One was talking about John, um, like his career and everything else. And the second was talking about his um, his technique, like uh, his spectrum of technique, which is, you know, ridiculous. And we, sh we really saw something awesome in his match with Scory. Uh, oh. Mark Thompson, oh my God, dude! I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna. I'm gonna head out and get some ice cream after this. I'm gonna post it on my Instagram just for Mark Thompson. I appreciate you, brother. Ray, the big question is what you're looking forward to more: Arm Wars Live or Drunk Wars Live? <laughs> Third September. Um, yeah, it's like August. Like now, right now is looking ridiculous for me. Um, so I have like two months. Like I, I wanted to go home. And not travel and everyone who Darko, oh my brother. <clears throat> Look it's you should see me in real life. I'm so massive. Uh but yeah, uh when I got home from Turkey and the match was announced, I was like I like if I was on the same schedule of uh, if, if that I was um at the beginning of the year, because I was traveling like every two weeks, three weeks, it's you know, and I was like, I need to get my training in i need to get my recovery and I, I, I want you know, i'm taking this that serious so i had a lot of offers going to a lot of different places and i turned them all down just for this match so that's that's how that's how seriously i took it so everyone like because people are first of all supporting me you know they are uh staking on me you know oh stall get off it's is is that Nanastad? Is is that Nanastad? Are you Nanastad? <laughs> but he beat Darko's uh, super chat. Thank you, brother. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. It's it's uh, all these experiences. Like today, I reflected on the trip with uh, Giannis to USA. That was awesome. Just like I was like I was in John Brzezinski's house for like ten days. Awesome. <laughs> you know, it's like ridiculously awesome uh and uh yeah like the end of the year again it's looking like it's gonna be really really not honest that oh but okay hey man still appreciate you even if you're not honest that still graph um so even even uh like the end of the year is gonna be crazy i guarantee that a lot of stuff is gonna happen you know um yeah See massive. You see how massive it is. <laughs> uh, your height, your jacked like me, but Bowen is tall guy six one or something. It doesn't like. Yeah, but Im imagine this. Like everyone's like, or even Ryan's. The only thing he's like, Ray short. Yes. <laughs> it's like he's like, well, you know, and I'm bigger guy. Yeah, but I'm an armless like like bigger guys all my life. It's like, like you're not special. You're not special. Like, I'm bigger. So what? Again, it doesn't matter. It's like I've been armless, like bigger, taller guys all the time. It really doesn't matter. It all will come down who's stronger. And I, at this point, I think I am stronger. So, you know, yeah. Yeah. If Ryan beat you, should he pull for the hog one? Still think you will win? I'm, I'm getting I'm, – I – Winning Friday is tough, but I like my chances. I, I like my chances way better than the year before. And um, I'm 
I'm I'm all for that smoke. I want that smoke so bad, you know. Just because, like, I think me and Frode, we can do such a great match. Like, our match would be epic. It, in Arm Wars, that would be epic. In It doesn't matter. King of the Table, that would be epic. Even East versus West. Um, yeah, yeah. 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 I saw I saw my dad in the chat. Did you guys did you guys saw my chat? Evening Marcus actually in the show for me. That's always when I'm listening to live. So <laughs> Neil's Neil pickup is in the house. Um yeah. But yeah, it's um the preparation, the training. It's it's been great. And uh we're going into last like four weeks pretty much very looking forward to um yeah yeah <laughs> who has bigger balls right bow in our pickup that's a weird question that's a very weird question clearly pickup he went to russia to fight russians you know in arm wrestling so just think about that some guys speak about where they're gonna go and what they're gonna do some guys just do it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love arm wrestling. I, lo I love the sport. I love everything about it. Uh, again, on table, I just like, uh, it It just feels good. Like even today, I had no, no reason to get on table and arm wrestle. But the guy came in, comes in and everyone's just like too, look, too weak for him. And I was like, oh, I just, I need to, you know, it's, I, I'm starting to itch and, and everything feels great. Everything feels really awesome, um, and uh, yeah, I'm 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 not gonna let down anyone. Uh, yeah, it is you know I'll I'll do my very best, and only thing I want is not to get injured. And the way I'm doing things right now, I'm really cautious about it, and still progressing without overloading myself and having enough time to rest. And you know, so. The, 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 I'm doing like uh, massage guns and physio balls and everything, all of that. Yeah. Uh, why are people suggesting the Brzezinski is top 10 super heavyweight after barely beating Corey? Corey is barely top 20 super heavyweight. No, he's not. Of course he's not. It's uh, like leave John alone. <laughs> John can take those matches if they pay well, but I don't think he's chasing them. And uh, he needed to be winning the way, way more convincingly for me to believe that, you know. Uh, I think John is just phenomenal we're seeing something like imagine you you're like I, I wasn't born he was kicking ass you know and then like 32 years later he's still here it's ridiculous it's someone it's something so awesome i think john is one of the like uh you you can make comparisons to anyone there's not gonna be another john Brzenk. okay i don't know that but i feel like we haven't seen anyone even coming close to that the guy is just phenomenal he's a phenomenal arm wrestler uh the way he can handle things the way he finds the lanes um uh, all those things the only thing that works against him is motivation because uh, you know and i think uh this match just going so close to the losing side motivating him like anything else like i think he's gonna be we will see <laughs> next level john Brzenk after this i'm i'm i hope for that um his shoulder is kind of bothering him he's coming up and down with it but uh it's it's uh yeah Stalken. uh thank you man for a super chat i appreciate you um Levin is super strong, for example. Uh, Brzenk is the most skilled armor, so he's most skilled. Uh, he's like, okay, um, I think right now, the, uh, if you ask me who's the best pound for pound armor on the planet, well, it's Levin. It has to be Levin. So, how do you make pound for pound lists? So, of course, anyone can make their own list. And, we're, you know, my criteria would be you have to be so dominant in your class. That no one looks like they can touch you and that's exactly what he's doing so it, it everyone's like well todd hutchings they say todd hutchings pound for pound the best he's close there but you have to wipe the floor with anyone 
this is how you like you know in mma the guy is so dominant he just beats everyone just taking you know this like small amounts of damage doesn't really get put in weird positions you know like john 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 jones when he was you know not doing stupid shit all the time he's like sometimes he's on that point and it's very hard to argue or Khabib, you know, like doesn't get touched or, you know, gets hit one time or pretty much like that. So Levan right now is the, for me, is the pound for pound guy, you know, uh, and you, you can make arguments only on the guys that are like, let's say 70 kilo guy that no one can touch. Like no one puts him in a tough match or anything or, you know, something like that. Levan is that guy at super heavyweight, you know, so yeah john is something else john is um because he's a smaller guy like for levin is, there's nowhere to go so he cannot achieve those successes that john did where john pulled out of his weight classes and actually being the smaller guy beat the bigger guy so i think that that should tell a story of itself and uh it's pretty incredible thing uh we when we when we were at his home we discussed it and jan's like has anyone done it? Like, yeah, we have seen guys like Arsen, like Krasimir, uh, Rustam from time to time. They can go up, or Hajimura Zulu, they can go up and beat some heavyweights, but not consistently and not for four decades. John is that guy, <laughs> you know? It's, uh, yeah, yeah. Rooting for you, brother. Vigilante, uh, rooting for you, bro. Hope you beat Bowen. What weight will you pull? Isn't Bowen naturally heavier than you? We're pulling at 90 kilos, so he has to cut down. Open any of his last videos and look at his face. Look how happy he looks. Look how, uh, when when or any of his posts on Instagram, he looks uh, he looks like a guy who's suffering. So, you know, and you know, <laughs> Professor Hammer Bill, are you hacking? <laughs> He's a moderator. You know, he's he's doing such a great job. I was like, I'm bestowing these powers upon you. So, yeah. Mm. Uh, did I say Khabib is the goat and or maybe someone in the chat or isn't the best either? Yeah, but he's uh, for some he might be for me. I don't think so. You know, but uh, I like some some guys were. In my, in my opinion, everyone, everyone's opinions, you know, but you should look at the resumes. You know, resumes speak for itself. Um, tell us a handshake with John Brzezinko. I don't know what that means. Uh, how does one become moderator? You are, you should have to be really, really nice and you have to do, you know, like, you know, show up, support. Eventually, you'll get those powers. Ehawk 42, Hutchings versus Brzezank, who's your money on? I think it will come down to ease of getting the strap. For me, WL rules, Hutchings wins, buff rules, John wins. Like I said, it's hard to bet against John, even in that match. With all the power inside, I think John, what, what John can do with Hutchings is take his rotator and press him down with great hand control. John is ridiculously strong. Like, he beat Corey without the strap in the first round, just going inside. I wasn't expecting that, you know? So, it's it's kind of, it's kind of you know, you, you know what I'm talking about. So, in that match, as much as, I love both guys, it's like, but I would still bet on John. I think John has the range and, you know, he has... He has the range, how strong he is, you know, if uh, Hutchings, can, I think Hutchings has good chances of beating him. And I think that's the big next match to make. Whoever makes it will make, a, will should should pay those guys a lot of freaking money and should, uh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> What is this question? If Lara dominates at super heavy for next, how he can dominate? He just lost. What are you talking about? Oh, this, there's some, sometimes people from different dimensions get in. It's stop making excuses for Devon. Devon doesn't make excuses for Devon. You know, stop making excuses for Devon. 
Stop thinking that, you know, this or that or whatever. He, he doesn't do that. Why, why would you do that? Why would you, you know? It's weird. Um, if Devin moves down weight class, do you reckon he will be dominant pound for pound force? Uh, like, again, like, and it's still, and it's still, he has to pull Europeans. <laughs> he has to pull Europeans. It's uh, So it doesn't matter what happens in North America at this point. He has done it all. He has beaten them all. There's so much to do in uh, lower weight classes. For him, I think there's a lot of things to do. And I would just I would just love to see Devon on table, you know. Like even now, it's like where do you rank him? You know, it's it's for me it's really hard. Like I, I wouldn't I have no idea, you know. Is uh he close to the top or close to the you know top ten, top twenty? You know, it's it's very hard because he just had two matches. One was three matches, one was against John Berzenk, you know. John, in my opinion, is not in that top. 10, 20, maybe 20, close to 20, uh, close to 20, for sure. Mm, most likely. Mm, I don't know. Um, then Mike, you know, and I, I, I don't see a reason to make Mike and Levin as much as, like, well, if, if you want to make a match, yeah, why not? But if you want to figure out, you know, who's the next contender, you know, who deserves to pull Levin, you know, it's, it's different things, you know, matches we can make and things that, you know, eh, eh, you know, we can just do. I would love to see that for sure. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't be saying like, oh, I will not watch it. I would absolutely love to watch it. You know, yeah. John and Crossmere, it's an interesting match to make. Yeah. Uh, so 180 people watching, 92 likes. Can we get those likes to 100? Mm, come on, come on, please get those thumbs up. Uh, I don't know if they do anything, but people always say they do. So let's see if that works. If that doesn't work, eh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, two, 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 two. Yeah, what do we see there? 100 easy. 126. Oh my God. You guys just, you get yourself together. It's uh, awesome. Um, I think I got to go and get the ice cream. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going to post some shorts. Um, me, me and Ryan, we've been, you know, it's kind of friendly trolling and everything else. So I'm going to keep the troll going, but it's still friendly. I'm just going to post matches I have had this year with, uh, you know, uh, I don't know how many super matches, how many five tournaments, how many guys I have pulled, you know. Uh, so, hmm, you know, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Stake Kings. Don't go there. No reason to go there. No one's buying Bowen's stock, so it's uh, not getting sold out. So I want to thank everyone who already staked me, because most likely no one's going to put any money on him anymore. I'm sorry, no one you can make any money out of this, but uh, yeah, stay strong. Love our wrestling hashtag at Bowen. I'm I'm so tired. <laughs> I gotta go to sleep. But first, I'm getting that ice cream. Okay? Thank you, guys. Bye.